So I got my 1998 Toyota 4Runner, 410,000 kilometers. This is my camping car. I travel it everywhere. Went to Alaska, Arctic Ocean, Yellowstone, California, and everything else. So a few years back, I did the valve cover gasket and half moon seals in the back. And I didn't attempt the right side because there is way more work than I wanted to do at that time. But I think right now my uh, uh, valve seals are not that bad, but half moon seals are leaking in the back, and everything falls down to the to the exhaust manifolds and starts uh, smells like burning oil, and I'm kind of afraid that my catch fire one day but anyways uh so it's uh summer right now and uh this is my uh camping vehicle um so i need to get it ready and this is my next project japanese fire truck four door uh quad cab and it has four by four and solid front uh, axle so this this is japanese import so this will be next vehicle this is my current vehicle and you can see it's been everywhere <laughs> so yeah i love it a lot uh for people rooftop tent this one will be for sale at the end of the year or start of the year it all depends when i'm gonna be ready to start working on that one anyways we're gonna attempt to do the valve cover gasket which is pretty easy job, but there is lots of things around it and I hope I won't fuck it up. So main purpose of this video is to uh, is the reference. So I can, uh, if I forget, for example, where do I plug things, I'm just gonna refer to this video and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put it back together. Uh, I always been successful with that, but uh, you know, every time is different. And if you're curious, this is actually Odyssey. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, Odyssey battery. This is like way oversized. It's for uh, commercial buses and whatnot, but it actually fits. And I uh, got it from the friend of mine. So this is supposed to be very big battery huge capacity and much better than, than a stock battery if you're running the fridges and like whatever if you're camping off the grid for some time yeah anyways so follow up thank you so 98 toyota 4runner v6 as i was saying left side valve cover gasket is easy you just stay in uh, you just take off the air intake uh throttle body from here throttle body and uh, you take the valve cover and basically gasket is uh, in front of you but to replace the valve cover gasket from the right side you have to take off uh, this uh, air intake uh, what's the name for this huge thing uh yeah so the first time when i was doing i only did one side because all of this thing removal was pretty intimidated intimidating to me and i'm like ah no but it's actually pretty easy with some bolts over here and all around and uh, you remove them and uh, the access is there also i'll start with uh, clean up some dirt maybe some rats print brought it over uh, you don't want any dirt to be out there so uh, it won't fall into into your engine internals so yeah that's all have to be cleaned up and maybe as well i'll take a look at my um how we call them um i forgot uh shit. so under this fuel rail there is your fuel injectors one two three same as on the other side but under all this mess so i'll probably take a look at them as well since i'm over here okay there will be third part and the fourth and the fifth, thank you. I was really hoping that I can remove this whole piece of intake plenum out and access the valve cover gaskets area. But 
it's actually this is like one one unit of two parts and you have to take the top part off hop to access more bolts and then take out the bottom part off and then this is your engine so now all what's left is to remove this valve cover and under this valve cover there will be valve cover gasket that is leaking and half moon seals in the back but first of all we're gonna plug with the with the napkins uh, we're gonna plug those intake areas and look at this they are dirty the truck has 410 thousand kilometers and it's seen places <laughs> it's very dirty and i'll clean it up a little bit but i'm not gonna go any farther than valve cover gasket and half moon seals because simply i don't need to all right valve cover gasket is removed this how it's looking under it it's pretty good but the problem zone was in there mm. It's hard to see, but there is a round seal at the end of it, which, has, which like looks like plasticky. But I assume it's uh, changing shape over time, and uh, that's why it starts to leak. So I finally removed the valve cover gasket, and this is how it looks under it. So this vehicle has 400. 10,000 kilometers on it. It's on synthetic uh, oils and uh, looks pretty clean. The problem was mainly in the back. There is this kind of seal, looks like a plug kind of thing, which probably changes shape with age and let some oil through it. And oil, I'll try to show you, comes down through here on the exhaust manifold, which you can see wet, and goes down, down under. It essentially can cause the fire if uh, enough oil is gonna get on it. So I decided to be proactive and change it. Well, proactive been hesitating for a few years I already did it on the other side it's hard to see but there is no leak that's the seal you see there's no leak there is everything is pretty good down there yeah and it's very dirty over here ah. <clears throat> and if you go Take a look from under the vehicle. It's, it's like leaking bad. That's how bad it gets. So yeah, I hope uh, that seal in the back round seal will be a solution for that. Yeah. Okay. So I cleaned up my valve cover change the spark plug seals and this is the main seal for valve cover gasket also i replaced the camshaft plug and this is half moon seal there is another one over here so we're gonna use um, just i don't have replacement part but it's perfectly fine to use the old one just have to clean it up and use this Toyota fig uh, silicone and just apply it over here and plug it back in in there and as well you apply some uh, silicone to those points to the corners over here and over here over here over here over there and just slap it back and secure it back with new with the same bolts but new washer seals and then we'll just build everything back together 
and hopefully it will run yeah all right i finally put everything back together everything checked and now gonna give it a try and see if it's actually gonna work Ugh. you know to do it properly you have to do it twice hopefully it's not about us well so far so good i mean what can go wrong eh Usually goes down after the start. Yeah. Oh well, thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe as they say. Hopefully next time I'm uh, gonna do more detailed repair. I wasn't this is my first time basically doing something bigger but I never did anything for YouTube, but if you're gonna subscribe to me, next time I'll try to uh, do something more detailed. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day.